Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Muriel and I'm a registered nurse of two years prior to. I was a licensed practical nurse for 18 years. Um, a little different setting for, not different setting, but it's a lazy Thursday for me. I am off. I um, am in my bed watching some episodes of Desperate Housewives. And I said, while I'm laying here, let me just make a video about something I've been wanting to kind of make a video about for about a week or two. Um, I've been watching some videos on YouTube. There were videos people have been making about like why I quit nursing, um, you know. And so I was interested to hear why a lot of people quit nursing because in my, um, y'all excuse this wig, I just threw this thing on it <laughs> to do this video and it's just not cooperating. But in all my years, I have never thought about quitting nursing. I've thought about other avenues of nursing. But I never thought about quitting nursing. And so I was just interested to hear why people quit would quit nursing. And the funny thing is that a lot of the people who were in these videos like why I quit nursing were never nurses. They actually quit nursing school. Um, and then there's some of them who say why I quit nursing and they were never they never quit nursing. They actually just quit the job they were working. But there were a few outliers who actually quit nursing and they began other careers that had absolutely nothing to do with nursing. And so I wanted to talk about some of these videos because I don't want y'all to get so discouraged. You know, a lot of like nursing students out there before you even get into the field, you know, because I know there are some people who are thinking, is this even for me? Is this the career for me? There are some people who are, you know, all their life, they're like, I want to be a nurse. I want to be a nurse. You know, I was never one of those people. Um, if you watch one of my old videos, I never aspired to be a nurse. It was kind of something I fell into as a like second choice, just like seeing like it was a natural progression because I was a CNA that I become a nurse, but I didn't know anything really about the field until I actually became one. And so I'm going to give you my perspective on why some people quit nursing, why they say it's so stressful and things you can avoid to not be as stressed because I'm the type of person, I am all about my mental health. I, I do not like to be stressed. Like, I have five children, and I would tell my kids as they were growing up, I'm not gonna even going to let y'all stress me out, you know. Um, and so, you know, I'd be damned if I go on a job and be stressed. Just let a job constantly stress me out. So I'm going to try to give you some reasons why, some things you probably can avoid doing so you won't be as stressed um, in the field of nursing. So stay tuned. Um, one thing I will say, a lot of people get stressed in nursing because they're in, they're working the wrong specialty. And I say this because when I was going to school for my RN, I knew right then there were certain specialties that were not going to be for me. Um, some of them were, okay, I knew the NICU wasn't for me because I know I am a water bag. Um, and I know I have a soft spot for children. And to work with a sick baby or in pediatrics with sick children, I would be so distraught. He'd probably be as emotional as the parents. And how can me as a nurse who I'm sitting there boohoo crying, how can I console parents who, you know, are going through? So I knew that for my mental and my emotional, I could not work in the NICU. I knew I couldn't do labor and delivery only because, and I'm just being honest, y'all. Like I said, I have a soft spot for children, babies, you know. And to work with, to have to work with a mother who, and I hope I don't lose, you know, you can say what you want, but, but to have to work with a mother who's addicted to any substances um, and knowing that she's addicted to these substances and she's pregnant, y'all, I can't help being judgmental they don't want you to be judgmental in nursing but in other parts of your life you know you're judgmental and i would be judgmental and i don't know that i can give the best care i mean i would give the best care but i don't know if i would be able to be the friendliest nurse the most concerned nurse be as compassionate with a mother who was addicted to a substance that could potentially harm this baby as i you know as i could like I know I would be judgmental and so working labor and delivery I knew that wasn't going to be for me now if you out there doing drugs doing whatever and you're not pregnant and you're only harming yourself you know that's one thing that's why I can work with 
um, adults who are abu- addicted to substances, but they're not harming anyone else. Like, it's not doing any harm that I can see to anyone else. But work working with a mother who's addicted to a substance and she's pregnant, I can't promise that I won't be judgmental. So I knew labor and delivery wasn't going to be for me. The ER, that's a lot of move fast, fast, go, 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 move, move, move. Like, I'm not about that life. <laughs> you know, I'm 43. When I was in nursing school, when I was in for my RN, I was 41. I'm not, that is just too much for me. Um, You know, you have a lot of patients coming in who are dealing with mental dis- mental health issues. You have some psychotic patients. You have some violent patients. You have violent family members. You're like, you just, it's so much you have to deal with in that ER and I, that wouldn't be for me. Um, yeah, and you can even pull up the stories of nurses who are getting stabbed and punched and spit at and stuff in the ER. And I can't promise that I'm not going to retaliate if you punch me. If you stab me, I can't promise that I'm not going to retaliate. And you retaliate and you could lose your li- your license, your livelihood. You know, you don't know how a per- person's coming through the door, how they're going to be until you actually interact with them. And see now, like, working on the floor in the hospital, the ER has already dealt with these people. So they've already handled the situation. And when they come on the floor, we know that this patient is violent or this or that. But in the ER, you don't know those things until they come through. Like, you don't know how things are going to go until they come through the door. So, I knew the ER wasn't for me. Um, Is there any other specialty? Oh, ICU. Only reason ICU wasn't for me, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I say I don't like the rush, 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 but I don't like just the monotony and just... You know, most people, most ERs, you have two, maybe three patients, but at the most it's two. Your patients, most of them are on ventilators. They're sedated. And I just think that it just would move so slow. Like most of your work is documentation, monitoring respirations, monitoring cardiac status, flip, um, turning them as much as you could to keep them from getting pressure ulcers and stuff. I just think the shift would drag by. I don't want my, sh- I don't want to work a shift that's, 10 hours of document well I'm say about six seven hours of documentation um y'all I think it would just drag by and it just would not be for me now you'll learn a lot in the ICU but I have heard ICU nurses say that like they've gotten pulled to say a medical surgical floor or a oncology floor and then they get five or six patients and they lost in the sauce because they used to working with two so now you giving me five six I don't know what to do they, you know, they can't handle it. And so, and I've heard this from several different ICU nurses. So, yeah, I didn't think ICU would be for me. Only because of the monotony of it. Um, yeah, so. And then I did. I um, I went to med surge. And, you know, I can do med surge. I just, I was miserable for other reasons. And this is going to bring me to point two. Um working in a being miserable on your job when you don't have to be not because you can change the way you're feeling about their job you can change that job like I was working at med search floor I was miserable y'all about the whole hospital um the floor I was on the patients were extremely sick I didn't feel like they were on the right level of care I think they I felt they needed a higher level of care than what we were provided I just felt like that we were working way to like I would have one patient that I would have to be in the room with constantly because they're um having all kind of arrhythmias um heart rates in the 170s you know and we just steady working 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 um I'm doing IV pressors I'm doing IV hydrolysis I'm doing all this trying to get and if I feel like if I got to be doing that much work on a patient they're on the wrong floor you know um Telly constantly calling you. Uh, it's just, if you got to give that much care to a patient on a medical surgical floor constantly, and then every patient I had like that, um, patients who respiratory status dropping in the 60s and 70s, and we, you know, you and I had to put them on um, 40 and 50% FIO2 and stuff. 
I just feel like that's just, that patient doesn't need to be on that floor. And I had so many patients like that, that it just got to be too much for me. And I just felt miserable. I felt like I was just miserable. And I was sitting here like, I felt like I was an RN, so I need to get these skills. But if you're already miserable, why sit here and keep making your, being in misery when I don't have to be? I can leave. I can go to you know, a whole nother setting, a whole nother specialty. Like, I don't have to be here. I'm staying here in my misery for what? You know, I can take care of my family and work at a doctor's office. I can take care of my family and work in hospice. I can take care of my family and work in a long-term care. I don't have to be here. I don't necessarily have to have these skills. I don't have to be a medical surgical nurse. And see, a lot of people they are miserable because they stay stuck where in a place that is making them miserable. And so, and then that's the second reason. Another reason is burnout. These nurses, a lot of nurses are getting burnout, y'all, because I, I mean, I hate to say, it, but we're going to be honest. They chasing the dollar. There's nothing wrong with chasing that paper. But if you chasing a paper to your detriment, it's a problem. If you're doing five, 12 hour shifts because you need this paycheck, you need to bring home this four grand every two weeks and not this 2200 but you're chasing this paycheck, but it's, it's breaking you down mentally, physically, emotionally, and every other thing else. No wonder you're getting burnt out and you're bringing it on yourself. The hospitals and these other these jobs, long-term care, all of them, they'll let you work six days a week, 12-hour shifts, if that's what you sign up to do because you're helping them out. And then you always complain, oh, I'm so stressed. Oh, the job... Nobody told you to come on this job six days a week. You know what I'm saying? Even if you need the money, there are other ways to go about making the money. If this job is so stressful, working at 6 12s, go pick you up a PRN where instead of doing these 6 12s, you're doing three 12s here and maybe two eight hour shifts somewhere else. You know, that's not as stressful. That's a little more pe you know, sometimes we nurses, we bring the stress to ourselves because we try to do too much. They'll be on a job six days a week. I'm like, you here, you done did six days. These are 12 hour shifts. So you just work 72 hours of work where you're on your feet, you're this and that. If you're working night shift, shift you're depriving yourself of sleep. You know, that good nighttime sleep nurses really do it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? They're really doing it to themselves. And then they make videos saying that they're so stressed out, say this and that. that. Be honest, say why you're so stressed. Say because you do five, 12, five, 12 hour shifts a week, even though you know, you're know you full time and you're only required to do three. Tell the people that you work in three doubles back to back. When you don't have to do doubles, it's not required. Like tell the people why you're so stressed you know now if it is just because of the job you're doing only your 312s but the job is just stressful because of the people that work on the job leave you know how many jobs out here for nurses you don't have, you're not you you don't have to be obligated to no facility no place if you that stress at a place leave we're not in that type of career where the jobs you know where the jobs are not plentiful you could walk out a door on monday and walk into somebody else's job on wednesday being a nurse i mean i'm just being honest i've been in this field for 21 years i probably had just as many jobs as years that i have in this field i think there was one year that i would i worked three different jobs you know so it's not like and you're going to be a nurse wherever you go. If you're RN in the hospital or LPN in the hospital, you're going to be an LPN in, in a hospice home. You're going to be the RN in a hospice home. You're going to be the LPN in long-term care. You're going to be the RN in long Nobody's going to take this. Can take. Nobody's taking the title from you. And you're just as important and as needed in a long-term care setting, in a hospice setting, in a health home health setting, and um, utilization review, and all those different settings. You're just as needed as you are in that hospital or on an ICU unit or on that med surgery, you're just as needed and you're just, you know, you your skills are just as required in another setting. So don't sit there and be stressed out on the job and then come out here to, you know, come out here YouTube land and be like, oh, I'm so stressed. Like I did that a couple of times. Like I was saying how miserable I was at the hospital in a few of my videos, but y'all see what I did, right? I left. 
I didn't even get my year worth of skills in. I left that hospital and I don't regret leaving because you, y'all don't know how I probably would have been crazy if I was, you know, if I had to stay there and continue to try to, I would have been probably been crazy right now. And I have made some videos where I've said I've thought about going back into the hospital, but I bet you it will not be that hospital. And it would, and if it is happens to be a hospital in that chain, it will not be back on that floor. <laughs> you know, I'm not about to sit here and put myself back in misery when I don't have to. So yeah, y'all, if you like the content in this video and all my other videos, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. So um, I'm subscribed to my channel. It's growing slowly. But it's growing. I'm trying to help you to be successful in your career um, as a nurse. I'm trying to um, help those nursing students who are out here, you know, let them know what it's going to be like when they get out here in the world of nursing. So, yeah, I'm just trying to give you that little head start to let you know what it's going to be like. Um, yeah, stay tuned to my channel. I have some more good content coming because I got all kind of like this was supposed to be a video about school but i'm gonna make another little video about how i'm doing in my first eight weeks of my bsn program i will talk to you guys later bye